talk about the preamplifier and envelope follower found on the Korg ARP 2600M. Uh, they are very, very simple and very, very straightforward. Uh, first of all, the preamplifier, it's just an input so that you can take your external audio of any type, whether you're getting it fr directly from a guitar or line level or uh, any input, uh, you can set it because not only do we have a gain knob, but we have uh, range. So you can take a really silent or really loud, well, not silent, a really quiet, but really loud or really loud sound and find the range uh, that it uh, needs in order to be heard. So you have an output for that. So theoretically, if uh, right now we are putting the sound of the ARP 2600, the Korg ARP 2600 full size, uh, it is providing a weird and irritating sound that you're probably hearing in the background. So if we wanted to hear that, we could do something like this. And then <laughs> bring it up. So that's an ARP 2600 playing through an ARP 2600. But anyhow, uh, and then as you increase the range, of course, it'll get louder. And there's another setting. So you definitely have the ability to adjust your input and do your gain staging. So uh, that's uh, a thing that exists. Now, um, the envelope follower is a very basic piece of equipment that takes the amplitude of an input signal uh, and converts that to a voltage. And the louder the sound is, the higher the voltage, the lower the sound is, the lower the voltage. So uh, the preamplifier is hardwired, as we can see from this uh, thing right here. <laughs> Thing. This jack, it says preamp. That means what's going into the preamp is uh, going into the envelope follower unless something else is put in there, which you can also do. Uh, but so right now we have the uh, Core Garb 2600 full size output going into the preamplifier being hardwired to the envelope follower. Now I have connected the envelope follower to the voltage controlled oscillator number three. So I'm going to turn this up so we can actually hear what's happening in three. And I'm going to do that by doing this. So uh, there's our three. I'm going to plug our ARP 2600 FS over here. So there's that. And then I am going to, oh, I think we heard a little bit of the uh, manipulation happening. Okay, so there is our oscillator three. Now I'm going to turn up the envelope follower, which is getting the signal from the Korg Arc 2600 FS. And it's going to affect the pitch. The louder the sounds, it is the louder. The parts of the sound that we're getting from the other instrument are the more it will affect the frequency of oscillator three. And as you turn the envelope follower up, uh, the range of those changes will be bigger. Now, right now we're doing this with, uh, you know, a basically <laughs> kind of obnoxious uh, patch, but you could be doing this with drums or any number of other instruments and you could affect outcomes that you really want, uh, including a variety of control signals that would have uh, beneficial effects in your patch. But that just gives you an idea of what an envelope follower does. And it's really useful if you're trying to like create R2-D2, which apparently drew heavily on the envelope follower. Uh, when you wanted the robot to make a high-pitched sound, you know, you could actually control the pitch of the oscillators with a human voice. And the louder the voice got, the higher the frequency would go. And that's how you got a lot of those R2-D2 sounds. Anyway, so that's very basically the preamplifier and how the envelope follower works on the Korg ARP 2600M. Thank you.
Thank you.